All right. And uh, we have been able to successfully start up our server. And then we have this page which tells us we have uh, successfully installed Django, created a new project, and run our server successfully. Now, we want to, you know, create a new hub. Now, in Django, an hub is like a web application that does something. Okay, for example, you can have an hub for a blog, we can have an hub for polls, uh, or an hub that stores data or, or some public records. So now, in Django, we create app inside our project. We can have multiple hubs in a project. You know, in this, now we created our project, my site, and in my site, we can create an app blog, we can create an app uh, to store public user public record, as I said earlier. So now, how do we create this app? Okay, so uh, uh, I said app, you can create multiple apps in a project, but a pro you can only have uh, one project, like you can only have one project in an app, you can create an app for multiple projects. Right, so how do you start an app? You go to your terminal, let's stop this, clear out our screen and type in python manage.py, start app. So we want to start an app called blog and we press in enter. So we press in enter, you will notice a new folder was created here, blog containing some other files, right? These are like default files that comes with Django. These are files that if you are not using Django framework, you'd have to create them yourself. But you know Django has already all these pre-written for us, so we just have to make use of it when we are creating our project. So now we have the blog app created. Now, what can we do with this blog app? In, in our blog app, right? So we can write in our first view. Now, we are going to be making use of this view.py folder to render something to our screen. Now, what this view does is, in here, you put in the logic of how you want your data to be presented to the screen, to be presented on the web page. Now, what we have here, if we want to change it to something else, it has to go through this view. You have to write the logic here. And so uh, we're going to do that now. All right, so in our views, we impute this. So let's define a function, index, and we pass in requests, All right? So we pass in requests, and so we are not rendering. What we want to do is just to return some HTTP response. So for that, we have to import Django dot http from jago.http we import http response right so we create that then we return http response our hello this is my first django up right so that is like the simplest possible view you can have in django now to call this view we need to map it to a url and for this we need to create a url conf in our project directory in our app directory so we create a new file and we name it urls dot py right so and in our urls dot py we add up just like what we have in our project directory we also do the same in here and we say from django.trls imports path 
Now, all this you do not have to, you know, uh, you do not have to cram them. You do not have to cram any of these commands. You can easily uh, reference the documentation I showed in the previous video, and then you'll be able to get all these things. Now, we want to import this function into our URS view. So I say from dots, which is like the current directory we are in, from dot import views. Right, and we create our URL patterns. URL patterns, which is the list of URL patterns. And then we say path. This, this is like the, uh, the end point. We will be accessing views.index, which is the name of our view. And then you can also give it a name equals to index, right? As I said earlier, you can easily access the documentation for all of these things. You do not have to cram anything, right? So now we have mapped our view to a function. And also we have to map our app now. We have to map our app to the project directory app. So to do that, we need to import include. We say path, uh, which is index, or we can leave it empty if we want it to be on the home page. And we say include the name of our app, which is blog dot urls. So this would have to be in quotes blog dot urls, right? So we have been able to map this view to the function and also the project function. So when, I forgot to mention this earlier, when you create an app, you would have to register it in your settings, right? So how do you do that? You come over to your settings and under the installed apps, you can see we have a list of other pre-installed apps that comes with Django. So you just add the name of your app. Okay, so it is application created by me. So you say blog. Yeah. So you have successfully added the app to your you have successfully added the app to your installed apps. Now let's run our server and see. So if we access this uh, URL again. If we refresh this, instead of having this page, we would have the string I returned earlier. This, hello, this is my first Django app, right? So you would see that from these views, we mapped it to this URL and also the project URL. So for it to get the app, so this maps the application blog we created, and from the blog, we got the views and from the URLs, you're able to access this. So it returns an HTTP response containing this, right? So, and that is basically how to create your first Django hub and you have been able to render to the screen.